Iggy, you took my ticket today. How was your experience? <laughs> I wish you had insisted not to let me go. I'll tell you that. It was I'll hold you just, back like a dog. Do you know, do you know, <laughs> I, I just literally I had to leave. I was where Daigle was and I had to go. I left the high street and I came back. I walked all the way to, to my vehicle now, heading home. I just couldn't be around there no more. I I, I just couldn't. Um at half time. I was messaging you guys saying there was a party atmosphere. It was like an end of season friendly slash preseason match going on. That was the sense of the atmosphere. We wasn't playing for anything. Even the first half, you just knew that Brentford was just, you know, hanging in there a little bit. We should have killed the game off at half time with the amount of chances we created. At 1 0, though, the game is still in the balance. And all they did after half time, Brentford, that is, bearing in mind that we we done nothing but party that whole half time. There was a, there was honestly, it's alarming. I was looking around myself and, and thought to myself, where the hell am I? I honestly, I messaged you guys. I said, I, I feel like I want to leave already. And the second half, they just literally turned the turned the pace up, turned the heat up. Not that much, just enough, just enough to turn the game on its head. And within 10 minutes, they did that. And after that, there was no reaction. There was no tactics. There was nothing. It was just bland. The atmosphere only turned a little bit the moment we went 2-1 down. Up until yeah. we was 1-0 up, there was no problems. It was like people were having conversations around me about their week. There was no... my. I just can't get my head around. You are watching a football match be solely focused, involved in what you're seeing. Forget the fucking week. No one wants to know. No one wants to We go it. to football and we watch football but because we felt, had a shit felt, week. I'll tell you what it felt like. It felt like when you're going to watch kids football and you're catching up with the adults while you're watching the kids. Or worse, when you're watching a film with no volume on. You're watching it, but you're not really following it. You're engaging with conversations around you whilst you're watching the film and make your own interpretation of it without the volume. That was Tottenham today. It was it was awful to be in. And honestly, mm -hmm. I reg within within 30 minutes of the first half, I regretted being in there. And I totally understood what, Stel, what you were saying before the game when you said I cannot be around it. I get it. I, I hadn't been there since March. And, and today was the first time since mm -hmm. that Milan game that I was there. And I completely understood exactly what you was on about. It was atrocious. The best thing, the best thing about today was the turnout for the protest. The amount of people that we met, the, 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 there was lots of new people there, lots of faces, a lot of people that follow us right here on Tottenham Away, to which yeah. I can see some of you in the comments already. They were there today. I was able to put faces to those names and say hello to them and thank them for coming down. People that came from South End, people that came from abroad, people that came from all over the place just to be there for the protest. They wasn't even attending the game. They came down for the protest. And to those guys there, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you that attended today. It was super important. But what followed was nothing short of what has been this season. A total, an utter, embarrassing and shameful...